Hello everyone, it's time for another presentation on mysterious giant jars. The previous plane of jars in Laos might have something to do with this site. The mysterious giant jars can be found in Lori Lindu, which is a 2200 square kilometer national park. In this park, there is a valley called Bada Valley. To the south of Lori Lindu National Park, Bada Valley offers hundreds of giant stone jars just like those in Laos. No one knows how old are these megalithic stone jars and structures. Estimate ranges from 1000 to 5000 years old. These jars are so mysterious, locals did not even claim it has anything to do with them. These stones are not even local to Bada Valley. It was brought in from somewhere too far away to even make sense. The locals call it Kalambas. It means a bathtub for a king. I don't know how a king would want to bathe in a tub in the middle of nowhere. Besides, I don't think a king would need 400 tubs strewn all over a valley he never knew existed. Giant jars with lids prove that it was not made for the king to take a bath. The lid is too heavy to be moved by 10 strong men. These stone jars can be up to 3 meters tall. There is no culture, religion or tradition that can link the animatic product of prehistoric times. The giant jars are totally lacking in any design or carving that makes sense. But civilization needs giant granite jars few thousand years ago. In Padang Tumpuara site, there is a jar that is not even deep enough to be used as a jar. If this is an unfinished jar, where is the chisel mark? This is obviously some kind of stone softening technology. Gigantic jars and carvings that are not of local art or culture have been puzzling the West since 1908 when the Europeans came to know about its existence. No one knows anything about these megalithic jars. The Sulawesians didn't carve this with rock, copper or bronze tools. They were most likely Stone Age people when these jars were made. This is the smoking gun. The jars outside looks like melt and roll technology as shown with horizontal lines on the jar. I think it was an advanced civilization that shaped these jars like clay. The famous plane of jars in Laos and Kalambas in Indonesia is definitely from the same civilization. These jars are so big humans cannot spin them to get the striations on the side. Who makes granite jars? with lids that 10 men cannot lift, but I do know they were shaped by spinning them like making clay pottery as proven by these 5 megalithic jars. Zoomorphic designs of the lids clearly shows they are of the same maker. The animal design doesn't reflect any animals in Sulawesi despite it is a tropical jungle with millions of species roaming around. Bada Valley is also famous for its monoliths. This monolith named Palindo, meaning entertainer, is 4.5 meters tall. You can see Palindo from Google Earth as this area is now more welcoming to tourists. There are about 400 jars in Lori Lindu National Park, but only about 30 monoliths with human form. You can see Loga, Langke Bulawa, Tadulako, Tokala, Laea, and Oba, just to name a few. Approximately 15,000 to 20,000 years ago, it was once a piece of land called Sunda land from Laos to Indonesia. Interestingly, there is one in Nanigat in India, which is about the same latitude as Plain of Jars in Laos, and they are still today accessible by car if you can drive 12,000 kilometers. Well, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed my presentation on Giant Jars of Bada Valley. See you next time. Sekian, jumpa lagi.